Hello, Greybeard here, and welcome to Greybeard Channel. Uh, hope you like this video, and if you do, please hit like. Hopefully, subscribe and uh, share the crap out of it. Yeah, we're gonna ride today. I took the uh, windshield off of it. I tried initially. I tried the uh, those other risers I might have mentioned if you watched my earlier videos. You know, uh, tried them other risers, but the, the threads on the outside that these mirrors are supposed to spin down into was kind of jacked. But, uh, yeah, I might want to put this uh, strap on. Figure this out. There we go. All righty, we're ready to go. Uh, yeah, this thing ain't been raining in three weeks. Get out and run it. Oh, oh. Gotta close the garage. Trying to get it to work. There it goes. What the heck happened here? All righty, I see. When you do like that, it puts it in kilometers. I did not know that. I thought the little slanted font looked pretty cool. But no, it just means, just means uh, kilometers. Yeah, this thing's doing better than I thought it would for sitting for three weeks. I can say this carburetor ain't always been 100%. I mean, it's pretty good, but... Uh, I figured it'd be a little more combative of uh, starting. Guess I could start using my signal light. <clears throat> yeah, I got my mirrors back out though. Without the windshield, I could go ahead and stick them out. Yeah, get me mirrors uh, dialed in. Thought I had them dialed in, but I guess I was wrong. New speed bumps. About got it right. There we go. Close. Darn close. Another speed bump. I guess somebody's been speeding down through this road. Come on, buddy. didn't see that one tilt it up uh, just a smidge there we go maybe out a little more no it's a uh, driver side mirrors wanting to be a pain I'll get it out just a smidge more there we go all 
also want to see how it does uh you know of course with the wind noise and uh also along with the uh when i put the windshield on i notice like a echo when i'm speaking and i'm wanting to see if that ended that pull over and get out of the way. Take the slow people down. That's why I want to hurry up and do my mods. But I'm going to go ahead and wait the thousand kilometers. One of my subscribers mentioned. I do plan on changing out this carb though. I hope this thing's pointing right. right let's mirror up some more. There we go. Dirty. It only wants to do that downhill on a straight, it'll kind of hit 30 and then come back to 29. See, it's already back to 29 now. We're still going downhill a little bit. Yeah, when you go down that steep hill, you can really, really uh, hear that thing holding you back. So the sound's kind of funny. Kind of like it's trying to de-rev while you're trying to rev or whatever, I don't know. I don't know how you'd say it. Fireworks. It's a smooth little motor though. I do plan on doing a, <coughs> a big bore kit. That might be next year. And I also plan on uh, scouting out some places I can ride the minis. So I haven't done a mini video in a while. If I knew a place, we'd already have all kinds of more mini videos. I don't know if that's supposed to be a speed bump or what. only supposed to be 15 through here. I like the park though. It's pretty out here. Grand Park's even prettier. Of course, uh, if you watch my earlier videos, I go to it too. I went to it on the minis. I think you can kind of tell as things breaking in a little bit though. like the muffler's gotten just a smidge louder than before which I kind of prefer because and it still kind of does almost sounds like a weed eater <laughs> now it's starting to sound a little bit more like a motorcycle yeah I'm not going to be in too big of a rush but I because I, I need to find the right exhaust that don't cost an arm and a leg they got some exhaust for this thing that cost almost as much as I paid for the freaking bike. It's ridiculous. Ain't no exhaust worth that much for a freaking 50cc scooter. These, uh, what's your uh, Hiroshi or whatever exhaust. Yeah, I know they're probably nice, but uh, not that nice. Can't be that nice. Four dollars, four hundred dollars and up.
I'm a cheapskate. <laughs> Yes, this thing goes okay going up the hills. I think it does anyway. <coughs> Some trails up here somewhere. Can't remember where they start. Took the mini up at one time. If you look through some of my videos, I can't remember exactly which one. But there's some trails that go up that way there. <coughs> and uh, I took it up one way and kind of down. I think I can see one of them right there. <coughs> but yeah, it, uh, I wish this thing had the horsepower the big mini had, along with this uh, torque converter and everything the street legalness so I'm thinking a uh, big bore kit it may not have the horsepower that the uh, big mini has I think it'll be close though I'm thinking I'm not sure I wouldn't know what the uh, net uh, horsepower would be after the big bore This in here, I mean, for a 50cc at less than two horsepower, this guy's getting ready to get their motorcycle license. That's a woman right there. Some good looking bikes. Them's the uh, Street 500s. You can actually take that Street 500 out on the highway as far as I can tell. I just don't know if I'd do it though. I think I'd get at least a 750 on the interstate. But we're going uphill. This thing still does 28. I mean, uh, that's not crazy or anything, but uh, there's 29. Still going uphill too. It's not real steep, but it's still uphill. I'm thinking once this thing gets de-restricted, we'll be able to go up this hill doing 35 easy. And that's just by de-restricting it, you know, electronically. Then with that uh, de-restricted boss, that'll give another few more miles per hour. I, I hear that, uh, Supposedly, anyway, I don't know for sure. But if you get one of them restricted CDIs, it's supposed to give it a little more up too. I don't know how true that is, but we'll find out once we get the thousand kilometer mark over with. We're at 155 right now, so yeah, we got we got a ways to go. This this up here is your good accurate miles per hour this is a pretty steep hill though like i say two horsepower it's actually under two horsepower so being it has the uh, torque converter that's actually still pretty good got a car coming up on me version of my truck let's go all the way up this one. I don't think I ever took it up it gets even steeper too right here if you can see it you can kind of see it go like this and then it goes up even steeper right here's pretty steep too that's why we're doing 11 this is probably not good on the belt I do need to buy a couple of those they're pretty inexpensive I think I've seen two of them for like 15 bucks. I've seen them more, but 
There we go. But this thing, it lugs, but it, it doesn't complain. I mean, good Lord, under two horsepower and it got me up that hill. See, that's what I'm saying. If, it, if, if I get a uh, torque converter for the little mini, it's three, three and a half horsepower. So yeah, it's, it's uh, you know, close to double what this thing is. Yeah, because I'm not really sure. This is somewhere between a one and a half to two horsepower. But this thing's got two sets of, you know, two front and rear brakes and everything. That, that helps on the hills a lot. And these brakes are all pretty well easy to work on. If you remember on my older videos, oh, they need to get this gravel up. Down there is where I used to live. They used to take you over this hill. Should have used my turn signal on the last turn. That's why I really need to ride this more often. Get used to the handlebar controls. I mean, this thing's doing fine going up this little hill here. A little mini, if you took off like I just did on it, it would lug on that hill because of the centrifugal clutch. I can imagine what that big mini's going to do with a torque converter on it. Need to hurry up and just do it. The tubing I got, I'm wondering if it's too thin a wall thinking I might go ahead and spend 20 bucks at Go Power Sports and get the ones they got. They seem a lot thicker. The wall on the tubing. That lid on that carrier in the back of the trunk, whatever you want to call it, top case. See it goes and makes noise. It's cheap though. I got it set to where it definitely won't fall off. It's the boy. This is where I usually go up the hill. To the left there. I don't 
can't believe it. We got the new pumps up and operating. Makes that place look a lot newer. It used to be old, the old shabby looking store. The one across the street starting to look like the shabby store. I still can't get over at Dollar General. It's freaking weird. You've seen me come down through here on my minis. Usually I cross that, that parking lot there to the left. And uh, come down through here. Blue. Dairy Queen not open. It's usually people here at the Dairy Queen. Is it still there? Yeah, it's still there. From now, I thought it was gone. That's weird. I don't see nobody though. Usually there's all kinds of people here getting ice cream and whatnot. Are they even open? Yeah, I, I like this over a little bit further too. That's the one thing I did. I put the phone over further, along with the mirrors. The old uh, Galaxy, I think that's what that is. That's a Plymouth. Fury, I guess. Couldn't tell if there's somebody coming from the other way. Oh. Didn't see this. I wanted to go up that way. I wonder if I'll, yeah, I'll be able to go the other way. I had a little bit more leg room on this thing. I would have rather had a like a 150cc or something, but uh, you know, with a bigger body or whatever you want to call it, bigger frame, a little more leg room. They got uh, some 150s you can get. It's got like a almost like a 300cc style setup, but uh. Yeah, that'd be nice, but uh, for one, that wasn't in my budget. And uh, I want to get more used to the controls and stuff regularly and jump like that before I go getting something I have to have a motorcycle license for. Just taking it slow. enough and one day when I get a motorcycle I may end up getting rid of it I don't know may keep it I definitely won't be getting rid of the mini stuff I'd like to eventually be able to get the setup to where I can uh, get me a welder hooked up and all that 
and I can build them. There's really nothing to building a mini bike. And when you build them yourself, you can build it however you want. You can stretch it and have it raked out like a chopper. Put whatever wheels you want on it. That's what I like about this area though. On the weekends, it's perfect for cruising. Whether you're on something like what I'm riding or a, a bigger motorcycle. Bigger motorcycle, you can get out on the highway and stuff, but uh, even in this area, the, the traffic is just so low. You know, the flow of traffic. Well, we're not flow, the, yeah. Not a whole lot of cars running around on the weekend. Like a big city, you go to a big city and it's just busy all the time. Sometimes even more busy on the weekend. Yeah, I do like the mirrors out further though. I can have, I got almost the whole mirror showing out past my arm on both sides. That's what these things are good for. They're not just risers, but they also extend it out. Yeah, I tried the other one though. I can't remember if I was, I think I was telling you about it. The uh, threads were messed up. I was trying to make it work. I was going to do it without the windshield right now. See, they were flat. And uh, you could mount the windscreen right there and have the mirrors out still. And plus have this a little further out where it ain't blocking the view when i'm riding and showing y'all my ride nope. wasn't so much a pothole that was like an inspection or whatever you call it for a main line i guess where, or actually an access point where you can turn it on and off but yeah it's about that deep where they paved over, paved over it. Of course, they ain't paved over it any time soon. But this road is not one of the worst roads around here, believe it or not. There's a lot worse. Hey, some roads, well, I, I took you on one at one I used to live on, Glendale Avenue. It was horrible. Potholes and patches everywhere. In a way, I kind of like it without the windscreen. But I can tell there's a lot more wind noise, at least at my head. I don't know if there is down at the camera. I'm thinking the camera did before, good before I put the windscreen on. It seems like I remember being surprised at how good it did. I can't wait de to de-restrict it. If I do that, I may not worry so much about the uh, big board kit. If I do the big board, I'm going <coughs> to take it to the shop and let them do it. If it ain't too expensive. I'm thinking if it's uh, under five, I guess, under 500, I'll do it. If it's over 500, I may do it myself. Love that mountain. These roads run along the, the valley of the mountain. I don't know if I, well, I took you up this way a little ways. Not that far. Not sure how long this video's been going so far. 
don't want it to be too short, but I don't want it to be too long. And sometimes I get carried away. Yeah, de-restricting will help us out a lot. I'm thinking even with the low horsepower it's got, still won't be too bad. Remember I had a Honda Elite a long time ago. Yeah, it was a lot of pounds ago too. Yeah, I can say I'm about 215, 220. When I was riding that little Honda Elite, it was a little Honda Elite 50. Uh, it was a good scooter, loved it. But, uh, got smacked off of it by a Buick Regal. Anyways, yeah, I was about 160, 170 pounds in. So yeah, I was a good uh, 50 pounds lighter, somewhere in that area. And uh, on a flat, it'd do 40, barely. Downhill, I could get it to close in on 45 going downhill. Back in, I live down in Florida. It's pretty flat all around Florida. Well, you got gradual hills and stuff, something like this maybe. Nothing usually this steep, really. And around here, this ain't nothing. I'm so tempted to go ahead and change your oil. We're at 165 now, so we're, we're closing in on the 200. I'm thinking about taking it and uh, having the uh, valves adjusted. So I'm wondering if they need adjusted. Imagine that would help in a little bit of the power department. Because the, the lash ain't set right, it, it ain't gonna have the, uh, the power mountain. Hopefully you can see it. I know when I turn the camera sideways like that, it makes the wind noise worse. That's the one plus on the big mini. I could get that mini to cruise 32 easy. I could go faster, but it probably wouldn't be good on the motor right now. Because I need to get heavier valve springs in it. This is pretty though. Half the enjoyment of the ride is seeing everything. If you're on one of the little rice rockets bent over trying to just go fast all the time, you, you miss everything. take you out to the park again soon in uh, West Grand Park, Grand Park anyway. You can see the mountain and look over and see a little bit of the rolling hills. It's a very pretty area though. West Virginia, the whole state just about. At least a good majority of it, anyhow. It's a 
pretty house and it actually has a little bit of a porch on the front of it. Most houses that style just have a little landing there in front of the door. Yeah, I'm thinking this thing needs at least another horsepower. I'm thinking a carburetor would help this thing out right. And there lies the uh, rub. When you go to buy a carburetor, which one's the best? There's so many out there by so many different oddball names. Some of them look like they fit, but they don't. They're super cheap though. I've seen them for like 18 bucks. There we go, look at that scenery. It's pretty. I know Komatsu is, you know, heavy equipment and stuff, but maybe it's just a parts distributing warehouse or something, I don't know. Yeah, I really wish that little, <coughs> that little uh, hand paddle thing, uh, would have worked on this but it affected me trying to brake when I brake it with gas and going on the video I don't want to make it too long <laughs> too bad there ain't a uh, like a thing that you can hold the uh, brake on oh yeah we had 38 minutes <laughs> like I say I get carried away got a I don't know what this thing's trying to do here. Okay, it's still filming at least. It had a wrench on the little screen right next to the uh, lens. Anyways, I touched something on the screen and it was something about exposure. But anyways, I hope you like this video. And if you do, please hit the like. Likes help my channel and might let it grow a little bit. The more it grows, the more chance I can get a little monetization and uh, do some more interesting stuff. But anyways, uh, yeah, that'll help the budget. <laughs> yeah. But anyways, uh, and yeah, hopefully subscribe, share it with your friends, and try to get them to subscribe. But uh, yeah, enjoy.